Hey guys, how's it going? Frey here from Tools and Gadgets. We're back again with another video. Today we have the Famil uh, bed rail for toddlers. So we have a king size bed here and I ordered three sides to go up on the sides and one here on the front. So on the front I have the 78 inches and on the side I have the 74 inches. Well it depends on you if some of the beds are 78 on this length and on this bottom side is the 74. So be sure to check your the specs of your bed first before purchasing one because you have the wrong dimensions of your bed. So let's go ahead and install the first one. So in here guys I have the it's really up uh, straightforward to assemble. I just need to open this. Okay, there you go. So it locks into place. You could feel a click on it. So let's do the same thing at the bottom. So here we'll just lock this first. And let's do the other side. So inside guys, you know, you should... You won't need to worry on this because it has foam inside, not like the other ones that doesn't come with a foam. This one has all foams from end to end, so you could you shouldn't worry about your baby like bumping into this because it's really safe because the tubes got foams in it. Okay, there you go. So we have already installed this. Let's go ahead and install the u-shape here at the bottom that we in that we need to insert underneath our bed so in here guys it's pretty straightforward again you could hear a click uh, let's just put this inside there's a click you're sure that it won't go anywhere anymore let's go ahead and insert this so you have this already. You have here the extension. Okay, so we should go ahead and insert this here at the bottom. So there's a slider here that light it so that this you could insert this. So let's do on the other side again. All right, perfect. Then after that, we could go ahead and insert the slider. So placing the screw, guys, it's really confusing. I need two multi-tools to accomplish the work because they didn't include any tools inside. All right, there you go. So on the other side, let's go ahead and bolt it in as well. So I need one uh, pliers to hold the bolt and one uh, Phillips screw to screw it in at the back. So yeah, it's all done. Let's go ahead and insert this at the bottom of the bed. Uh, I would be putting in an additional uh, zip ties underneath so that it will be uh, solid, rock solid. So we'll just uh, set this like this first as of now and later on after we install the on both sides, we'll just secure it all with a zip ties underneath so that it won't move anywhere or if the baby decides to push on it, it won't fall. So yeah, let's go ahead and install the sides now. So from here guys, it's pretty much the same process. I'll just show you the finished product. Okay, so we are now all done guys. I just need to insert this last piece here on my side and that's it. Yeah, let's go ahead and insert it.
Okay, and the finishing touch is this. You just need to level this with the other one. So that we could insert the connector. One more. Perfect, there you go. So it's now rock solid. It's now sturdy. I'm trying to pull on it, guys. It wouldn't go anywhere, but I'm still gonna be putting zip ties underneath just to be safe. Okay, so that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, Tools and Gadgets, see you again next vlog, bye. So just an update, guys. I had the three sides here. I didn't install the fourth side at the back but uh, if you have the capability to install the fourth one in the back go ahead it will make all this really sturdy because this side I noticed like it's kind of a bit wobbly but then it's still strong but it's just wobbly compared to the ones that are connected interconnected there it's really strong so my son hi Michael he is uh, 30 inches right now and the height of this is 26 so it's just his uh, eyebrows are exposing outside but yeah nevertheless it's really okay I highly recommend this and it, ha it gives the feel of you uh, being like a baby again <laughs>